as long as I can remember, I've always struggled with cleaning my room. Over the past year and a half, I've documented this process. Today, I'm going to be cleaning, cleaning today my room. Clean I'm going to be cleaning, cleaning, cleaning my room. My room's an absolute mess. So here it is. As you can see, my room, well, you can't that much. Okay. As you can see, my room is a little bit of a mess. My bed, my couch, my floor, everything disgusting. Uh, just kidding, hashtag self love. Anyways, first thing I'm gonna do is get all of my laundry together. And I feel like my room is mostly laundry, so I feel like this, I think this will help. After I graduated high school, I took a gap year and lived at home, so here are the clips from then. So I also wanna tell you what this box is because you're probably like, what is that box? Cause that's probably like a big question in your head that you're probably having right now. This box is a bed frame and I bought it without my parents' permission. And I know you're probably like, Ava, you're 18. Actually, probably don't even know. Did I tell you my age? You don't even know me. This is my first YouTube video. As you can see, this was supposed to be my first YouTube video, but I never ended up posting it. I guess I just didn't want this to be your first impression of me. Whenever I would make these videos, I pretend that my room never looks like this and this was a fluke, but that's not true. Also, crazy sweat stains. That's how you know I was working. The truth is, it's always like this. It's always been like this. It was really hard to want to post this when I didn't know if it was going to reach the right audience, if it was going to help anyone, because most likely it was just going to be my friends, my family, people from my high school watching this video. I just wasn't sure if I was ready for everyone to see this side of me, because unfortunately, I do care what people think of me, and this was really embarrassing. It kind of looks better without the clip. It kind of does. It's often said that your room is a reflection of your mind, and people would question how I could live in such a messy space. Honestly, that's a fair question. From the outside, I probably seem pretty put together. I was class president. I started two successful businesses before graduating high school. I was always loud and cheerful to those around me, but for me, the answer was simple. My room truly was a reflection of my mind. It was cluttered, messy, gross, just like me. The real problem was that I had accepted my depression a little too much. When I felt this way, I wanted my room to get worse. Having a clean room just didn't match me, and so I didn't clean, and I'd also make my room worse on purpose. I didn't feel like I deserved to have a clean room, and I did this as a punishment to myself, I would literally spill things and throw trash on my floor on purpose. It was almost like I was addicted to being depressed. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my room again because I'm disgusting and I already messed it up from last week. This is what my room's looking like. Um, I'm going to start off with laundry, then go to trash, then go to just everything else. It's easier for my brain if I work in sections, so that's what we're going to do today. That's a battle for another day. Like I said before, breaking my room up into sections makes it so much easier to handle. When I was younger, I would just walk around and pick up whatever I saw, and I don't know how I did that. I feel like the way that I do it now is kind of like a game, like I'm gamifying it, and that's kind of where the ADHD comes in. People with ADHD are not very good at doing things they don't want to do, unless there's like a time deadline or it's fun. And so by splitting everything up, it kind of feels like a game of I spy. And it's also something I can cross off my imaginary list because I know that I've got at least something done. It's easier to track my progress when I'm doing it this way. I didn't start by making my bed but I definitely recommend doing that because it honestly changes your entire room and it's also a great space to put more stuff on <laughs> Ugh, don't mind me sweating. I gave myself an hour and a half to clean my room and I still have 45 minutes left and phew, it looks amazing doesn't it? I know. I've definitely gotten better at this, but I'm not great at it. Um, when I was younger, I used to hoard everything. Like, I could not get rid of anything. And now, I've gotten a little bit better, but there's so many things I keep because what if I need it? So now you're probably like, wow, Ava, it looks so clean. Wrong. I still have to clean under my bed. Hashtag woohoo. I'm not gonna lie, this part is really gross. This is why I hate having the option to put things under my bed because I abuse the power. My wallet! I've been looking for this! During my gap year, I was taking online classes at a community college and decided to transfer the following year. I believe that once I went to college and got my own space, I would magically be a clean person. So here's how that went. I was so excited to have a new room and for this fresh start. I'm very lucky that I had my boyfriend there to help me move in everything, but very quickly, things started piling up. Instantly, I was back to my old ways and already struggling on day one. I cleaned my room weekly and it was probably the most I've ever cleaned my room, which is funny because this is the worst my room has ever been. Surprise, I'm depressed. Woo. 
I've been struggling a lot with my mental health and so I'm gonna try today to sort of get that back on track. The biggest thing for today is cleaning my room so I'm gonna go do that. At the time these clips were recorded I was a walk-on on the basketball team at my school. The walk-on treatment is not for the weak and I was struggling every single day. I was losing myself in my sport and it really sucked. But I was going to therapy, I was journaling, I was doing all the things I could do to get better. Therapy and journaling helped, but there was something missing. I've always been very self-aware, so I also knew what I needed to do, but there wasn't enough energy in me to give. What I needed to do was just to get the fuck up. <laughs> I needed to get comfortable being uncomfortable, and I needed to want to get better. But I'm also not too sure it was in my control at that time to do it. You know, I want to take full responsibility for not trying hard enough and for my lack of discipline, but I'm also not sure it was my fault. I'm not too sure if trying harder would have worked. I feel like if I would have known what I know now wouldn't have made a difference. Okay, so I actually lost all motivation to clean. I think I'm just gonna listen to music and then hope the vibe comes back, you know what I'm saying? So the idea is to clean it first and then declutter and organize things. I don't want to do any of that. So we'll see what happens. See you later. Spoiler, I kept cleaning, but I don't think that there was any advice I could have given to myself in that moment that would have changed anything. I think sometimes you just have to get through it to get out of it, and I feel like my experiences, every decision I've made, getting older, my maturity level, all of that has helped shape my mindset. I don't think that shifting your mindset happens overnight. I think that every decision you make every single day plays a role in it, though. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be cleaning my room. Yay. I struggle being a clean person, you know, ADHD, severe depression, disgusting. I have a hard time keeping it clean also, which I'm starting to think is a choice. It doesn't matter, I'm disgusting, we get it. <sighs> so the first thing I'm gonna do is make my bed and then I'm gonna pick up all the clothes and then I'm gonna move on to trash. So here's my problem right now. I have this bed cover thing that I need to put on my bed, but I don't think my sheets are gonna fit. <laughs> So actually, <laughs> this thing does not fit on my bed, but that's not my problem. I can't deal with it anymore. So I'm just gonna make my bed with it on there. You know, you know, I see you, my baby. You know, you know, I ride with you. Uh. Okay, time for a break. <laughs> I'm done. That pissed me off. I'm done. No, okay, I'm just gonna take a break. But I'm pissed off. Just know that. I'm done with my break. Um, unfortunately, I can't find my ADHD meds. Oh. <laughs> Today's gonna be a fun day. Now I'm gonna move on to the clothing. I think I'm just gonna put all my clothing into a pile or maybe on my bed. Not sure yet. But yeah, off I go. The other thing about me is I never put my laundry away. There's a very small amount of time that I'm willing to clean. And by the time I'm done with my laundry, it's over. It's fast. The time has passed. For my sheets, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna get another pair of sheets so when I wash the sheets, I can just put another pair on right away. Because also, whenever I wash my sheets, I don't ever put them back on my bed. Yeah, you. Now I'm gonna be cleaning up all the trash around my room. I honestly recommend keeping trash bags in your room, like little ones. This doesn't make sense for most people, but like sometimes even like going downstairs and getting a trash bag is too much work. Like for me, it takes like the smallest inconvenience for me to be done cleaning my room and getting a trash bag could be one of them. So I like keeping them in my room. I'm just messy and I don't, I just can't do anything about it. <sighs> it's hard being me, what can I say? Whenever I watch like cleaning my room videos, I never see them recycle. So I actually have a really sad story to tell about this. I bought two juices, one limeade, one raspberry lemonade. My boyfriend asked if we can open the limeade because we both like it really a lot and we don't get it all the time. I said, no, we're just going to wait for when it's like a happier time. In a couple weeks, my basketball season's going to be over and we can drink it together. And then the basketball season ended and it still wasn't a happy time. So I was like, no, let me wait. And then it expired. And so I never got to enjoy this limeade, but isn't that so sad? I didn't get to enjoy it. So here's what your takeaway should be from that is that enjoy every moment as if it's your last because you'll never know when it's too late. In this case, you actually could know because there's an expiration date on the top. But I just thought juices lasted a really long time. That's my bad. But anyways, rest in peace to this limeade. I bet you just thought I cleaned that right there, but you're wrong. I just moved it all to my bed. 
when I get too overwhelmed with everything, I just put everything on the floor or like on my bed. So I just like, take everything off the surfaces so it almost looks like it's clean, but then I just put it in a pile. I saw you, only well wishes for you. Try my best to ignore you. you know Baby, you one of a kind. Heard you got a man, hope he spoils you. I have no idea how long I've been cleaning, but here's how it's looking. I feel like it looks the same. <sighs> but I'm kind of at the point where I actually don't know what to do now, so that's fun. I might just sit around for a couple hours. Here we are again. Are we surprised? I'm not. <laughs> Let's get cleaning. o'clock i've had a really slow morning i was at my boyfriend's i feel gross i look so <laughs> i look terrible and when i look bad i also feel bad like when my hair is a mess i can't function i'm very much like a morning person like i want to get stuff done in the morning and like it's kind of not really morning anymore and so this is where like my motivation like starts to go down a lot i feel like normally i would come home and like honestly go in my bed and sleep when i don't have like a plan for the day like the best option for me is just to sleep because i get too overwhelmed with like all the decisions and like what i could do i think this is progress I'm trying not to like sleep all day long. <gasps> Jeez. Ah! Ew. I am gonna go shower. I'll see you later. The house that I'm living in for college is an older house and it can't handle the electricity of my diffuser and it literally like blows the fuse. Is that it? It turns off. I have to go to the basement. I don't know what that means. And so I started using it on low, but I've been here for 40 minutes and it's not even close to being dry and I'm about to give up. I can't do this anymore. Okay, it's 20 minutes later. I've made some progress. I might be done. I'm done. I know that I'm joking about quitting and being done, but that's like how I kind of really feel all of the time. And it's always a constant battle of quitting and giving up because I feel too overwhelmed. Also, you may have noticed I do not look as put together and that's on purpose because I was only cleaning my room if I had the right energy levels that day, if I was feeling good, if I looked good. But I've been challenging myself to clean even when I'm ugly and even when I don't feel like it. I've been recording some outfit videos for a couple of hours and my room's an absolute mess. It's so bad, guys. Old me would just leave this stuff and continue on with my night, but the new improved me is gonna start cleaning it right now and get some stuff done. I don't need to finish it, but like just work on it a little bit, you know? And I feel very proud of myself. I haven't started, but just that I had that idea, I'm a genius. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see you later. You might think that this video is coming to an end, so maybe you've taken it out of full screen and are ready to skip or turn it off before it finishes. But this is the most important part of this video. Talk to me now. Hey, hi, hello, what's up? My name is Ava and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be cleaning my room. I hate to say it, but there is no end result for this video because I've realized that the real transformation isn't about having a spotless room. I'm finally realizing that I don't have to wait for a special day to start. I can help myself a little every day. I used to think that the little things didn't matter, but they do. Pick up all the trash in your room, make your bed, or even just move all the stuff that's on your bed to the floor. Do something today to help, even if the conditions aren't perfect. Even if you feel like it's doing nothing, I'm telling you right now that it is. If you've been sitting in bed all day mad at yourself for not doing anything, whether that's academically, socially, or career-wise, do something right now. Don't think about it, just get up and go. That 